Hey, so in this video, I'd like to show you how ridiculously easy it has gotten to create a voice chatbot and not just any voice chatbot, a voice chatbot using an AI clone of your own voice. If you see my other videos, you know, I'd like to show you software that literally anyone can use. And this is the case here too. You don't need to be a developer. You don't need to know anything about AI. If you know how to operate any web app, you can now build a voice chatbot using your own voice for outgoing calls, for incoming calls, it doesn't matter. I set up my voice chatbot using a software called SympFlow that is primarily designed to handle incoming or outgoing sales or customer service calls. SympFlow AI works together with 11 Labs to handle the text to speech part. 11 Labs is also what you can use to create an AI voice clone of your own voice. That's really easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do this as well. Then in order for SynthFlow to start outgoing calls or handle incoming calls, you will need an account with Twilio. And finally, just because we can, I will show you what you can do after a call and automate what happens afterwards. So in this case, I'm using make.com and OpenAI to create a summary of that call and then send the summary and the full transcript via email to a recipient. This could also be an update to a Slack channel. It could also update a CRM. There are loads of possibilities. Now, Zynthflow already has a native integration with Zapier, but it's really, really easy to hook it up to make.com as well. And I'll show you how to do this. Now, this chatbot is usually used for either outgoing or incoming calls, usually around sales or customer service scenarios. The way I've set it up is to be my personal HR representative. I've given it my CV and a few instructions on how to respond to questions from possible employers that would like to work with me. So let me give you a quick demo of what I'm talking about. And for that, I have to switch cameras. Okay, I'll now start a call with my voice chatbot. Hi, and thanks for calling. What are your questions regarding Philip's CV? Hi, this is Philip, and I'm uh, interested in working with Philip. Can you tell me if Philip knows anything about sales? Absolutely. Philip has extensive experience in sales, particularly in the B2B SaaS sector. His skills are well-rounded with a strong focus on customer acquisition and relationship management. Is there anything specific about his sales experience you'd like to know more about? Yeah, does he know anything about artificial intelligence? Yes, Philip is currently exploring business ideas supported by artificial intelligence. He's taking a time out to focus on testing these AI-enabled concepts. This shows his proactive engagement with AI technologies and his interest in integrating them into viable business solutions. Would you like more details on the types of AI projects he's working on? Uh, no, thank you. So I got to tell you, it feels really crazy to be talking to myself and especially to be talking to myself as an AI chatbot that I've created myself. I will link a few other examples down in the video description, but I hope you got some idea of what is possible with this technology. As always, it would be very much appreciated if you were to sign up for these tools using the links in the video description or in the first comment. This has no downside for you, but it would help me to continue doing these YouTube videos. So thank you very much for supporting this channel this way. So before we get started, let's have a quick look at the costs involved. Synthflow starts at 30 US dollars a month. That includes 50 minutes and the cost for the text to speech with 11 labs is already included. Of course, if you need more outgoing or incoming minutes, it gets expensive. Now looking down here, you only need to pay for 11 labs on top of this. If you want to use your own AI voice clone, if you're happy with using the built in 11 labs voices, you don't have any additional cost. One little drawback I found as a German is that currently only English languages are supported, even though 11 labs happily synthesizes also German or other languages. I'm not sure why this is currently not supported, but this page says multi-language is coming soon. What's also coming soon is a native integration with Make, but we don't need that because I will show you how you can really easily set this up yourself. Now, if you want to create and use an AI clone of your voice with 11 labs, you will need to pay at least $5 a month for them. Creating a convincing sounding voice clone of your own voice is really, really easy. All you need is one minute of your voice, ideally a little more, and record it under the best possible circumstances for 11 labs to generate your own AI voice clone. If you need to pay something for Twilio and how much depends largely on where you are currently located and where you want to use it. So best check out this pricing page for Twilio for the locale that you are in. I have topped up my Twilio account with 20 US dollars and that should be plenty for whatever I'm doing with it. And then finally, if you want to use Make for the automations instead of Zapier, which I'm totally recommending because I find Make.com much easier to use. And honestly, for most use cases, it's also quite a lot cheaper than Zapier. You can start using Make for free for up to a thousand operations per month, which is quite a lot. And after that, you're looking at $9 a month, which isn't that much in my opinion. And again, if you want to sign up to any of these services, I would appreciate it if you could use the link in my video description. That would help me out a little bit. Thank you. All right, so here we are inside my Synthflow uh, workspace. 
And as you can see uh, here, I can build out my assistants. So basically every voice chat uh, that I've built is an assistant. Over here, they have a tab for, called workflows, which is basically if you don't want to use make.com outside of Synthflow, you can use basically a white label Zapier, I think, inside of uh, Synthflow. But as you can see, this already starts with the very expensive pricing tiers. So I would suggest just setting up this make.com integration manually. All right, so let's have a look at my assistant. The assistant also has a dashboard, which shows you how often it has been used. But the more interesting stuff happens over here. So over here, you can select the voice it should use. So these are all the 11 labs standard voices it has. And down here is my voice clone. You can set a patience level. The default is three seconds. Uh, I'm not sure why you would need a longer response time. Ideally, you would want to have this as short as possible. You can define a greeting line. And over here, you can select several dialects of English. Other languages aren't currently supported yet. Over here where it says prompt, you can give it all the instructions on how to handle a call and also the background knowledge it should use when it talks to customers. You can use a whole bunch of pre-built prompt templates for certain scenarios. And maybe there's something already here that suits your purpose. But this is what I've done. Down here is the custom prompt that I've written. I will not read everything to you. Uh, as I said, it's supposed to act as a personal HR manager of me. And I've given it my entire CV along with some instructions on how to handle certain objections or questions. But if you're interested in setting up a voice bot for yourself, I would really suggest going through these templates and getting some inspiration on what kind of questions it can ask, what kind of information it can collect, and what kind of other instructions you can give it to handle a call just the way you want it. The prompt is where the magic happens. So you don't need to know anything about AI. You don't need to, need to know anything about developing or programming. You just need to write a smart instruction on how to handle calls just like you would give to your intern or to your colleagues. Over here, you have several options on how to deploy it. Uh, apparently, it works really well with Go High Level. I haven't tested that. It, here's that native Zapier integration. And over here, where it says REST API, you can just post in a webhook that you've created inside of make.com. I'm going to show you how to do this. And then every time a call action happens inside of Synthflow, this webhook will be notified and all the information that Synthflow has about this call the transcript, the caller ID, and so on, will be transferred over to that make.com scenario. Can then use it to automate all sorts of other things. You update your CRM, send a Slack notification, whatever you want. And that's basically it for Synthflow. Uh, I'm sure it can do other things as well, but my goal was to show you how easy it is to set this up. Basically just connect the services you want to use it with and then create that prompt for the call script and you're ready to go. All right, over to 11 Labs and how to create an AI voice clone of yourself. You just log in, go to Voices, Voice Lab, and then add a clone voice. Now up here, you can design your own AI voice uh, if you want to sound like a little girl or an old man. But what I did was to create a clone of my own voice. And there are two ways to do this, the instant way and the professional way. If you choose the instant way, all you do is upload audio, in the best possible quality that you have for at least a minute or longer and then wait a couple of minutes and and 11 labs will create an ai voice clone from that audio sample and once it's created it shows up in your voice app library and it's also available to use via api of course you can also use it to generate audio samples inside of 11 labs should i stop talking and just let my ai voice handle everything honest question i've actually thought about dubbing all my videos with my ai voice but it's still a bit of a hassle to match the generated audio to the video. So for the time being, you're stuck with my real voice. Sorry. Now connecting Twilio to Synthflow was rather easy as well. You just sign up for a new account. And then in the top right corner where it says API key and token, you get your API key. You copy that over to Synthflow. Everything is set up. When you sign up for Twilio, you get a free US phone number. But things started to get complicated for me when I tried to get a local phone number. I was searching for German phone numbers and they are readily available. But your problem is when you want to buy it, you have to register and you have to say whether you are a business or an individual. Both of these require some registration. And even though it says here you can buy one as an individual, uh, it turns out you can't, but you won't see this here. You will see this in some help documentation. And if you try to register as a business, you have to provide all sorts of documentation that I, even though I am running a small business, uh, don't have. You have to provide a Handelsregister number, which only the bigger businesses have. So for my testing purposes, I'm stuck with my US phone number, which kind of sucks because German clients expect a German phone number. But then again, my voice chat only speaks English anyway, so there's no need for a German phone number yet. All right, so finally, let's have a look at this really simple make scenario. So it starts with a custom webhook that listens to input from Synthflow. 
So every time a synth flow call is completed, this make.com webhook will be called. Once you've created a webhook in make.com, just copy and paste that into your synth flow voice bot where it says deployment and rest API. Once you've created a webhook, you need to start the scenario and run it and make a test call with your synth flow account. Once you've run this once, the webhook knows what kind of data to expect. And this is what the data looks like. So you get a status message back from Synthflow, the phone number that called it, the duration, a start time, and a full transcript of the recording. And finally, down here, there is a Twilio URL, which you can probably use to retrieve an audio file of that call from Twilio, but I haven't set this up yet here. What I'm doing instead is I'm handing over the full transcript to OpenAI and have it create a summary of that call. And then finally, I'm sending myself an email with, with the most important information about that call, the duration, the phone number it came from, that summary that we just created with OpenAI and the full call transcript just because we can. So that's how easily and quickly you can set up an AI voice chat for yourself. It would probably take me now about 15 minutes. So you could set this up for clients. Synthflow also has some sort of agency model. You can set this up to impress your boss. The possibilities are endless. Please let me know if you want to give this a try and set up your own voice chat, what ideas you have to build yours. I'd be interested to know what you come up with. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you and see you in the next one.